When will Apple release the M4 MacBook Air? And what will this upcoming update look like? Plus, what other Macs are about to be refreshed? Let's get into it. Before we do though, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the latest Apple news and rumors. We're getting close to back to school season. So many of you have been wondering if Apple is ready to update any models in the Mac lineup, especially the MacBook Air. It's especially true when Apple has already put the M4 processor inside of the latest iPad Pros, but has not added it to the Mac. The MacBook Air is Apple's most popular Mac, and it was last updated in March of this year with Apple's M3 processor, along with faster Wi-Fi and support for powering two external displays when in clamshell mode. A next-gen model is indeed underway and will include Apple's newest M4 chipset. We can get an idea on how powerful that will be based on historical performance data. Let's first look at the M2 MacBook Air and compare it to the M2 iPad Pro. As you can see by these Geekbench numbers, they're virtually the same with the 8-core M2 CPU. Performance is technically a bit better on the MacBook Air, especially on the multi-core test, possibly due to the improved thermals on the laptop. Despite its shared lack of fans, the keyboard does provide improved airflow compared to the tablet. If we extrapolate that data to the new M4, based on the M4 iPad Pros, we can expect to see modest improvements on this updated model. This isn't a guarantee we'll see this level of performance, and we are comparing iPadOS to macOS, but if Apple's prior machines are any example, it'll be at least close. Aside from the M4, what other changes do we expect to see? Frankly, not much. I think the new 13-inch and 15-inch MacBook Airs will indeed look basically the same as what we have now. As to when we'll see these new machines, don't expect them until 2025, most likely between February to April of next year. What I'm saying is, don't wait to buy a MacBook Air. If you're in the market for one, it's absolutely safe to buy one now. The same can't necessarily be said for Apple's other Macs though. There will still be three more Macs updated this year, bestowing them with Apple's new line of M4 chips, including the M4 Pro and M4 Max. The first will be a new 14 and 16 inch set of MacBook Pros. What's unclear is if these will include the rumored redesign. Ever since Apple introduced the ultra thin iPad Pro, it's been said Apple is working on many products that are just as thin. I already told you about the upcoming iPhone 17 Slim that will be the thinnest iPhone ever. See more about that in the video I've linked here. MacBook Pro is also supposed to be in the cards. It's possible that the redesign won't come though until the M5 series, as there was no mention of a timeline from Bloomberg on that. The big feature on the M4 will be improving performance in the neural engine, which is used for powering Apple intelligence. Apple's already adding AI and machine learning capabilities to Xcode and Final Cut Pro, and the M4 will move to make these even more powerful. The other two Macs getting updated will be the Mac Mini and the iMac. I don't think there will be huge changes for either of these two other than your average spec bump. Bloomberg says that after those, Mac Pro and Mac Studio will be updated alongside the MacBook Air in 2025. Those two Pro machines could come at any time, though I could easily see release happening at WWDC 2025. Basically, what I would recommend to everyone right now is, as I said, feel free to pick up a MacBook Air, but maybe hold off if you need a new MacBook Pro, iMac, or Mac Mini. I expect the last three to be updated by October, which is somehow only a couple months away at this point, uh, probably just in time for Mac OS Sequoia to launch. If you are in the market now for a MacBook Air, we've been seeing some great deals as low as $849.98 in some instances. I've gone ahead and linked our price guide down below, which we constantly update as new deals become available and others expire. So which Mac are you holding out for? Let me know down below in the comments. And as always, be sure you got those notifications turned on so you don't miss my latest video on Apple news and rumors. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time.